Hi there. We're in the middle of the Gion Festival and I'm in front of Yasaka Shrine's Honden or Main Hall. Now the reason why this is interesting to me, this Main Hall, is because Kyoto was founded on Feng Shui on the it's called geomancy is, is one translation this kind of art and science of natural energy and how that relates to the four directions and when I first heard of that I, I didn't put much store in it but after living in Kyoto for many many years it is impossible to get lost in this city I really grew to love and respect this brilliant design that used the natural features of the landscape to help us always stay oriented and grounded. So I, I've come to love Feng Shui thanks to that. And in Feng Shui, the four directions each have an animal. There's a white tiger in the north, a red phoenix in the west, a black tortoise in the south, and a blue dragon in the east. Now the blue dragon is omnipresent in the Gion Festival. There, there are dragons all around the festival in, in the artwork and so on. And uh, the blue dragon is the animal of the east where Yasaka Jinja is located. And according to legend, a blue dragon lives beneath this hondo, beneath this hall, hondo, excuse me. Um, now I also heard on, on good authority from my Yasaka Jinja priest that um, so the dragon lives in a pond that is beneath this hall, and that's why this hall was built here. It was built over the pond, over the dragon, ostensibly to uh, supplicate the dragon. And at some point, I, I imagine in the 60s or 70s, when Japan was really into modern development, they put concrete over that pond. And I'm super intrigued by this because I feel like this is kind of symbolizes some of the challenges we face in the world today where we take nature and this wonderful relationship with natural energies and so on and then we um, smack our modern development over it and kind of mess it up. So this is a personal interest of mine. I'm kind of hoping that uh, it's within the realm of possibility that this concrete slab might be removed. And uh, so I figure if I tell as many people as possible, that will increase the chances. So now you know, uh, spread the word. For more on the Gion Festival and its amazing traditions like this one, please see